Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be unboxing that Atlas crate, which is one of my favorite KiwiCo crates, so I'm excited to open it with you. So if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to give you unboxings, which is what we're doing today, to give you curriculum ideas, organizational ideas, and ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button. And let's get into this crate. Okay, so the Atlas crate this month is Nepal, which I feel like I know very, very little about Nepal, so I'm excited to learn some more. It says, build a climbing yak. And don't eat your hair in the process. Play the game of bag chow. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I just butchered the heck out of that. And explore Nepal. <laughs> I, I just don't. <laughs> That's the hardest part about this is I'm just like, I don't know how to say any of these words. Namaste, I know how to say that. That's for yoga. <laughs> That's the only reason I know. And so when we open this up, it's gonna have all of our little cards in it that are gonna give us a whole bunch more information about Nepal. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've been talking for a while. My voice is shot for today. And so we have this little card that has a whole bunch of information. This is just really fun to study. We have our little friends here that kind of join us on their on our trip. We're not really going on the trip, but you can kind of get an experience of what it would be like to be on a trip there. And then we have I don't know what all these are gonna teach us. We gotta look at them all. Mount Everest, I didn't know that. I knew that about Nepal, that Mount Everest was there. And so we can all go climb Mount Everest. It says wind horse flag. So I wonder if this is an activity. Some of these have activities on them. So it has a little thing on there. And then I don't know how to say this either, but this is the recipe for this month. And it looks like some sort of Greek yogurt thing that we're gonna try out, so we'll have to see. We'll have to see if my kids like that. Some of them like Greek yogurt, so I'm excited to look at that recipe and to see what we need and to give it a try. And then we have two activities in here this month, which is pretty normal. Actually, there's three, I lied. There's three, that's not normal. <laughs> Usually there's two. And so we have our fluffy yak. So this is kind of part one, part two, which is why there's three. And so this guy is so cute. Do you see how puffy he is? And then this is the Z the Zach, no, the Yak zip line. So this is part two of two, and this is part one of two for the Yak thing. And so then I guess you get to have it zip line up the mountain. And then this is the game that I have no idea how, pr how to pronounce. So we have all of our little pieces for our Yak right here. And then all of his, <laughs> his crazy fur going on. And I don't know what all these are. If these are game pieces, this might be for the zip line. It has some washers in it and a rubber band and some string. And then this, oh, this is our yak's face and some little pom-poms. I don't know what all those are for. And then we have, these are the pieces for the game. It looks like they're like foam, that looks thick foam. And some little circles right here. We could put them on our eyeballs. And I keep eating my hair, <laughs> stop it. And this looks, I don't even know what these are for, but these are foam pieces right here. And this is our game board. So this is that really thick cardboard. So it feels very hefty. And we have more foam pieces. There's lots of foam pieces in here. And some more of the string that has the little metal pieces on the end, which is nice because it makes them easy to thread, but then you flip them this way and pull and they, they hold, they don't come through. <laughs> and then we have a straw, a really small one, and then a dowel. And we're almost there. There's a lot of like little pieces in this one. I'm not sure what this, oh, maybe this is our mountain that our yak is gonna come up. And this is just some little sticky pieces right here. Oh, we have another one of these little straws and some more foam pieces. So that's what's in here. I'm excited there's kind of like three-ish activities, like two-ish activities. You know, you get two-ish and a bonus <laughs> activity. And so that'll be a lot of fun. It'll be fun just to check out a few more things and learn some things about Nepal. They always have some really interesting facts that I just think are fun to read. So I'm gonna let my kids get at this and we will let you know how it goes.
doing the Atlas Crate and my kids enjoyed talking about Nepal. You know, they didn't know exactly where it was. You know, it's really small. And so we were able to look for it and talk about Mount Everest and that was a lot of fun. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that we made. So we made this little yak, which I just think is so cute. Look at it, it's long hair. <laughs> And it's kind of a mess, but that's okay. So I thought this was super cute and my two middle kids helped put it together, kind of work together on this one. And then my oldest helped put this together. So when we opened up this crate, like in this intro, I, I had put, oh, it has three crafts instead of just two. And so as soon as we opened it, my son's like, it has three crafts, that's unusual. And it was just super funny that he also mentioned the same thing. And that's because these two crafts go together. So you have the yak and then you have the yak going on the zip line up to Mount Everest. So that's what this is. So I'll insert some footage because I'm not gonna be able to show you how this works here. But this was slightly tricky to figure out. So the parts were pretty easy for my son to put together. It was just once you try to hook it all up and we tried to fold it so it's not gonna get all in a tangled mess but I had my husband out helping me because I'm trying to read the instructions to my kids and they're not getting what they're supposed to do. You know, we have it attached to our door and so we're all trying to figure it out. I'm trying to film it while I'm reading to, to them. And it, so my husband comes out and helps them and we, we, got it, we got it all figured out. The yak climbed up to Mount Everest and it worked out and it was really cute and a lot of fun. I'm sure they're excited to play with it some more. They'll probably just get it tangled in a big knot like within a matter of seconds, but <laughs> we'll, we'll let them try again and see how it goes. And then it also came with this game. So we didn't have to like make or put anything together special for this. And so we only played this once and my two middle kids played it together. So as you can see here, these are all the pieces and there's tons more goats than tigers. And it's sort of a version of checkers, just like a little bit different. Like I said, there's only the four tigers and the tigers start on the board. And then whoever has the goats, so one player has tigers and one has goats, they put the goats on as their turn every single time. Whereas the person with the tigers just moves their tigers around the board. So the tigers are the only ones that can jump pieces like you would in checkers. And then the goats are just trying to box in the tigers. And so if the tiger can take out five goats by jumping over them before the goats can box in all the tigers, then the tiger wins and vice versa. The goats win if they can box them all in before the five goats get taken. So it's a fun game. The only thing I feel like is a little hard. This is really good quality, but these little pieces just don't stand up super well. They just have this teeny little foam on the bottom. And it just, if whenever my kids would go in to move a piece just a little bit, it would just knock a whole bunch of pieces over. So then they're trying, it's like dominoes, just constant dominoes as they're trying to fix all the pieces. But I still thought it was a lot of fun and just a different take on the idea of checkers. And then we also made, I have not put these cards in this book because this thing is so big. <laughs> so I'll put them in here, but it's just kind of hard to open it when it's so fat. So we made this, I don't even know how to say it. Sakarmi, Carney, Sakarni, that was bad, just don't even. Anyways, and so we made, we made this. It's Greek yogurt basically, and then you put nuts in it. We just had pistachio, well I have other nuts, but pistachios seem best. I guess pecans might be good too. And then we, it has sugar and milk, and then nutmeg, cardamom, and cinnamon. Cinnamon. <laughs> so cardamom, I could not find at the store anywhere. Like I've looked for it for the past few weeks and it just was never available. So we didn't use that, but we used the other spices. And my daughter, my seven-year-old daughter actually got, made most of this. She pulled out all the ingredients. She was excited, <laughs> even though this isn't like her favorite thing to eat, but she was excited to get everything out. And I didn't really have any fresh berries. It's been so hard to get fresh berries, especially strawberries where I live. And so we used some frozen berries, at least in a few of the kids. And this wasn't necessarily their favorite dessert. Some of my kids like yogurt a lot. I did feel like it was a little intensely spiced for, for probably them and maybe for me as well. And so maybe if you just tone down the spices, but I feel like it'd still be a good like treat or a snack. It does have some sugar that you add into it, but the Greek yogurt is providing you with a lot of protein and then you could put tons of fruit and nuts in it. I feel like 
overall would just be a really good snack if you could find your balance of spices in it because it, it was a little bit strong and they didn't like the frozen berries in the middle because it has you kind of layer it down here like a parfait almost. And so, you know, again, however you want to make it, if you like nuts, if you like berries, or if you just don't and just want to eat the yogurt, you can do that. We didn't do this activity, but this would still be fun, the wind horse flags. And so it tells you how you can decorate them. And this is just using construction paper. So that would be nice because it's something that would be probably a lot of us have already. Cause sometimes these crafts, I don't have all the supplies. And so we don't do them, but that one, at least you probably have all the things for it. So that was Nepal and I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. You know, we always just kind of enjoy doing something together, even though there's still fighting that happens. It's fun to get together and to work on a project and to see the kids' excitement as we learn some cool and interesting facts about other places in the world. And some things are just like, what? <laughs> like, you know, it just, they just don't even understand it. And it's just really cute and fun and just a good like homeschool experience together. So if you enjoy seeing these types of videos, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time.